Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Mole Trap here again, hanging out at Matt's house here with Matt and uh, and Steve SC. Yeah, ironically, uh, I'm a, an Apple user. Always use Apple. We yes. got we got Matt is an Apple enthusiast here. We got Steve, whose nickname is Steve the Mac Guy, <laughs> and we're all hanging out, recording some commentaries on Matt's Windows PC. <laughs> XP. WTF, Matt. <laughs> Anyway, we got some good games here so far. This is game two of Yellow versus Type B, and it uh, should be exciting because uh, game one was pretty exciting. Uh, we saw some interesting <laughs> micro battles going on there, and um, you know, it worked out in Yellow's favor. Uh, if you're watching game two uh, before game one, you had that spoiled, then uh, that's your own damn fault. Uh, so anyway, but yeah, Type B um, just uh, had some micro mistakes there. I don't know if they were even mistakes, but you know, things just kind of didn't work out for him as well. And he actually had some really good micro with his drones at one point. Yeah. Um, really just some beautiful drone drilling to keep his drones alive amidst an attack, kind of evening things back up, but he'd already spent too much money on drones uh, from the earlier attack and it just didn't work out for him. And something I wanted to point out last game that I didn't get a chance to is I think actually things would have gone differently if Type E hadn't um, put his overlord in the way he had because the reason Yellow knew which base he was at, which spawn to go to originally was because he saw the overlord approaching from the north and if that overlord had gone on a different angle uh, he would have been better off but then again he wouldn't have seen the zerglings as early so who knows. Anyway, so I uh, got the game getting started here. Um, it is, is a, this is a best of five, so uh, you know it's anything can happen from here on out. But you don't want to get too far behind. So Type B is really gonna, he's probably gonna, he's got a really good strategy. He's probably planned it. Uh, he's probably gonna bust it out on this map here, which is um, Outsider, by the way. We should mention real quick too that uh, I'm gonna post anti-spoiler video, so any five-game series is gonna show up on our account as five games. So if you're not one of those people who watches these right as they're available, uh, you are going to see this as five games no matter what. So you don't have any idea. It may be three games. It may be five games. Maybe seven. It could be, it could be crazy. There could be a forfeit. Uh, real quick before I let's see, give it to Steve, we do have yellow here in the orange or yellow, whatever you want to call it. And uh, type B is going to be in blue. And so go ahead, Steve. What do you got? Uh, yep, so we got yellow starting off in the top left. And um, type B in the bottom right. And you know what we saw in the last game, I think a large part of it was just better decision making by Yellow. Even though Yellow did some stupid thing with his Zerglings and kind of squandered that, um, he used the lead that he did have, the little bit of lead he had, and he expanded. And that's actually a risky thing to do in any mirror matchup to expand. Um, so really, he, he did the right thing. And they're, they, this, I think Lido was in the audience because there's Gogo -Go in the audience. Yeah, they're, they're holding so yeah. they are in the audience. And um, that's really interesting. So yeah, Ye Yellow made some better decision making. You know, he took the advantage he had and, and built a hatchery, which was really smart. And even though when he initially started, he built his port first, he ended up still getting a hatchery down before Type B. Um, and then that production advantage that eventually led him to victory. But so just just good decision making by Yellow, and I think that's something you're going to see in Yellow over the series, anyways. Is just that he's a more experienced player, um, so that could really pay off an advantage. Uh, I, I wanted to mention. Just something about Zerg players in general now. There's a lot more, and it looks like we got a 9 pull. It's a 12 pull for, so just real quick, Type B went for a 12 pull, and Yellow actually went for gas into a pull. Uh, so so Yellow is going to have the advantage as far as lanes goes. He's going to have a, a pretty significant advantage. Also, he's going to have a tech advantage. He's going to be able to get the Mutalisks out first. And they're both going to be scouting each other, although Type B has a scouting advantage. So there's a lot going on here, but it is a certainly different builds. But we'll just see how it plays out. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw maybe a hatchery in uh, like, um, Type B's own base or something like that if he's got the extra money. And it looks like he's actually going outside of his base. This is really risky, I think, on Outsider just because it's a three player map and it's close distances. It's really easy to. You know, gets your opponent's base, so he's definitely going to have to get Zerglings quickly, which it looks like he's doing. And it looks like um, Yellow pulled just now going up, so he's just now getting a few Zerglings. Already marking the lair, which is probably what we're going to see from uh, Type B any second here. Um, but Type B, he's definitely going to have to defend that hatchery. That's going to be a critical uh, part of this game. Uh, what I was going to say is that there's a lot of good Zerg players right now. I if you think about how we just got out of this Protoss era, you know, where you kind of had these dragons and Bisu and Best and Stork, and a lot of those players aren't as big as they were anymore. Now there's no Protoss left in the OSL. Um, and, and you see a big shift in that there's a lot of good Terran players and a lot of good Zergs. And when you think about all the Zergs right now, there's Jadong, Effort, Yellow, Calm, Quanro, Zero, Type B, Luxury. I mean, that's like nine, eight, eight, or, eight or nine players just looked off there that are all, you know, really big challenging players and can really go far, you know, in any of these leagues. 
I just feel like the uh, protests have kind of fallen off a little bit. So I don't know. I just wanted to mention that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just it's just really weird because a lot of people have been just whining for a long time. And there's what I was thinking a smarter move would be, and that's what Yellow's doing. He's putting the hatchery in his own base. What's great about that is you can protect your own base. Um, you know, all your mules spawn in one area, and it's really easy to just control our units and protect your own base. It looks like we do see the spire just now going up for um, Yellow, and we haven't seen yet. It looks like no layers not even up for Type B. So Type B is gonna be pretty significantly behind. Um, but the longer it goes. He will get advantage, an advantage if you know Yellow just lets him be. I forgot Hyuk in your list. I mean, he beat Jadon in Pro League. So come on, oh, man. He, he just Hyuk is especially. Dude, whatever, man. A again, I should let everybody know that you need to watch just like regular sports. You know, if there's a basketball finals and you're not watching the finals before watching the, the games after, you're gonna get it spoiled. Anyways, Mulch, what, what do you see going on here, man? Um, well, anyway. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, you know, we got some stuff going on here. Yeah, interesting that Yellow put his, his hatchery within his own base, and the fact that he went for that gas earlier means that he's basically, he's going to have to kind of uh, do something with his early mutalisks. He's going to be able to put out a lot more mutalisks a lot quicker. I wouldn't be surprised if he decides to go for an upgrade, like an early weapons upgrade or something, or, or, or armor upgrade on the air. His fire's about to pop. Doesn't look like he's saving up a ton of larva, though. Looks like Type B's going to try and push in kind of a timing attack before the Spire gets in. Yellow does have his ramp to hold. His Zerg is slowly getting uh, eaten down. The oh, a few extra Zerglings. I think he saw those Zerglings coming in with an Overlord, and that's why we saw a few uh, eggs morphing, because he wanted those extra Zerglings to them an attack like that. Now he's going to be able to produce a lot of Mutalisks very quickly, though, from all that gas he's been saving up for a long, long, long time. And um, Type B is going to be behind in Mutalisks as well, because his fire is popping later. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is very, very early attack from, from uh, Yellow. He's probably going to you know, go max out his supply in Mutalisks. And then, no, actually, Scourge coming out first. Very interesting play. I'm surprised wow. to see that, and that that is not going to be good for him at all. Although he's just picked off one of the overlords, so if he can actually supply block Type B before his spire pops, then he'll be able to just build up a bunch of mutalisks. It could still work out in his favor. It looks like that is what he's trying to do. But yeah, he's killing off another overlord with scourge. He's going to try and supply block Type B. Wow, this is a crazy maneuver. He's going to try and use scourge to supply block Type B, make it so he can't build a single mutalisk. Meanwhile, he's yeah, creep colony going down because he's. And a, and a, and a um, excuse me, a, a, what's it called? Evo chamber, so he can make spores because he knows he's not gonna be able to make mutalisks. This is crazy. Well, he is currently type B has two supply right now because of his hatchery. He has two supply. I have never seen this done. I, I mean. I've not seen a lot of many as many Zerg games as you have, but I have never seen a supply block like this. Right now, Type B is having to spend all of his money. He currently has 13 food out of 10. And if you can see on the bottom, if it's not blurring up, Yellow has 21 out of 26. Yellow has his Mutalisk coming in here. The Spore Colony is just morphing. If he can take the Spore Colony out, or at least weaken it down, but it doesn't look like he's going to do that. He's going to go for the Evolution Chamber, possibly. He's going to go for this Drones. And then uh, a bunch of Zerglings getting right by here. Yellow, I think, is going to be done after this because those Zerglings are going to have full access to his main right now. Oh, oh game. The game is over. GG. That Spore Colony is going to go down. The Spire is going to go down. And uh, granted, Type B is going to get... like Oh, he wasn't even making any Mutalists. Yeah, uh, the game is pretty much over. I'm surprised Yellow has not already GG'd at this point. Wow. Uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, Type B hasn't already GG'd at this point. Yellow just... That was just so smart. That was just so G -G. good. That was so there is good. Brilliant. There is GG by Ty Type B. You know, wow. what we saw was a risky build actually from Type B. We saw a similar build. I think it was Orion versus Jadong. Or basically what you do is you expand, but then it's a very critical timing attack where instead of building Mutalisks, you just build a crap load of Zerglings from both the hatcheries. And what you try to do is you try to send all your Zerglings in the other player's base before they get Mutalisks, right before the Mutalisks pop. Obviously, if their needles pop and come out, they're just going to kill your Zerglings, but if you can mass Zerglings from two hatcheries and get them all in and maybe even kill off like a Spire, which is what happened to Jadong, um, then they can be a really good timing attack. So I think that's what Type B was trying to do, but he just couldn't get up the ramp. His Zerglings just weren't, he didn't micro them well enough, and Yellow just held. And then honestly, Yellow didn't even need to do the supply block. I don't think he, he would have had such a big advantage from then on anyway, just because Type B hadn't been building needles for so long. He would have had so many few needles. Either way, I mean, he was screwed, but he... He took a risk and it didn't pay off. No. Yeah. I, I'd say you, you can see. Look at look how focused Yellow is, and Type B has his, you know, two. Uh, I don't know if that's the coach for the Sparkies there. Uh, I'm not sure, but but you know they're obviously trying to give him some prep talks. I mean prep, to prep talks. 
I just I just feel like in this match, Type B. I mean, obviously Type B is certainly the the you would think would be the unfavorite coming in. Um, I mean, Yellow has been playing how like Luxury was playing in the last OSL when he won it, and uh, so you know Yellow really is looking really really strong right now. And to be honest, in the second game of the final, doing that kind of crazy strategy that we've never seen before is I don't know. I think it says a lot about him. So we're gonna go into game three here, and uh, we'll see you guys there.